If you can't get your greasy, fat little grimy hands on a Fujifilm X106, the Fujifilm X-T50 might be the option for you. I took some photos with it, I took it up to the mountains, it's fall, there's yellow leaves everywhere, it's beautiful, check it out. We'll talk about the X-T50 at the end of the video. Beautiful, gorgeous pictures out of camera. The reason I'm not saying straight out of camera is because, yes, I retouched these just a little bit. I kind of brought up the texture a little bit and the warmth a tiny, tinsy bit, but as you can see, the photos are phenomenal. Now, if you were sleeping on the XC50 like I was while you were waiting for your X106 to show up, I am thinking that this camera is probably the better option. With the X-T50, you get interchangeable lenses. So unlike the fixed lens on the X-106, the X-T50 offers flexibility with all of the different lenses available for the X-Series. Next up is compact design. Now the X-T50 is slightly bigger than the X-106, but it still retains a small form factor, making it very simple to carry with you while you're doing street photography, travel, or in this case, nature shoots. And this thing is pretty affordable. You can pick it up for $13.99, body only, or if you wanna grab it with the kit lens, it comes in at $17.99. And you can't really argue with what's in stock. If you try to buy the X106 anywhere, you're out of luck. Resell is about $2,300, $2,500. I've seen some go for up to $3,000, just pure insanity. But you can pick up an X-T50 today. And the final reason to pick up the X-T50 is that you still get that classic Fuji color science and that classic Fuji look. Remember, the Fujifilm X-T50 and the X106 have the same 40 megapixel X-Trans V sensor. They've got the same processor, they have the same autofocus system, the same IBIS, and both cameras have the exact same film simulation. And I would even argue that the X-T50 is slightly better because you do get these dials where you can access your film sims in real time. So if you can't get your hands on an X106, I highly recommend to check out the X-T50. My name's Andy Munoz, subscribe for more videos, and if you wanna see some of my street photography, click this video right here or right here. See you on the next one.